We're live. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. Rowan should be joining us any moment now. And uh, tonight we are reading from Second Samuel chapter 9. Welcome to a moment of joy. As always, um, we encourage you to read along with us. Second Samuel is about a quarter of the way into your Bible. And, uh, yeah, we're going to read chapter 9 tonight. We're going to read the whole chapter. It's not very long. So, yeah. Second Samuel comes after First Samuel and before First Kings. If you're looking for it in your Bible, I'll just give you a chance to turn to it. Tonight we're reading from the NIV. Yeah. Okay. You can follow along in whatever version you prefer. Sometimes it's better to read several versions because it's, it helps you understand things. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 9. David asked, Is there anyone still left of the house of Saul whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now there was a servant of Saul's household named, household named Ziba. They summoned him to appear before David. And the king said to him, Are you Ziba? At your service, he replied. The king asked, Is there no one still alive in the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is lame in both feet. Where is he? The king asked. Ziba answered, He's in the house of Makur, son of Amiel, in Lodabar. So King David had him brought from Lodabar, from the house of Macher, son of Amiel. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to him in honor. And David said, Mephibosheth, at your service, he replied. Don't be afraid, David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather Saul, and you will always eat at my table. Mephibosheth bowed down and said, What is your servant that I should, that you should notice a dead dog like me? Then the king summoned Ziba, Saul's steward, and said to him, I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. You and your sons and your servants are to farm the land for him and bring in the crops, so that your master's grandson will, may be provided for. And Mephibosheth, grandson of your master, will always eat at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Ziba said to the king, Your servant will do whatever the Lord the king commands his servant to do. So Mephibosheth ate at David's table like one of the king's sons. Mephibosheth had a young son named Micah, and all the members of Ziba's household were servants of Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem because he always ate at the king's table. He was lame in both feet. Any questions? What is? <laughs> How's it going? What does lame in both feet mean? That that means he, he probably couldn't walk. Uh, how do you get from one town to the other? He probably had people carry him or put him on a a cart and pull him with a donkey or something like that. He was a prince, so he had some means. He had some money. Right. So, yeah. That Ziba guy probably looked after him. Him and his 15 sons. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. In reality, he probably could have been a pretender, right? So, there's that. So, 
so there was probably people that really looked after him well because they would would have wanted to restore him as the king right so there's that okay let's pray dear lord jesus we thank you for all that you give us we thank you for your word we pray that as we read it your spirit reveals to us what you would have us learn we love and praise you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, so today is Saturday, which means tomorrow we have Fellowship of Joy at 10 a.m. And you're, there's a number of ways you can join us. You can join us in person. We will be at the old school at 67 Queen Street. Or you can, uh, there's there's a line we haven't used for a long time. The new church in the old school, right? Uh, but anyways, um well, compared to any other church, like there are churches that are thousands of years old. Yes, but this one's only what four years old, so it's not old. Anyways, you can join us tomorrow at ten o'clock. We're at the old school, sixty-seven Queen Street in Saint Williams, or you can join us right here on this YouTube page, and we will be live streaming at ten a.m. So we will see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. And as always, if you got any questions, put them in the comments. If you don't want them public, send them private. If you got any prayer requests you want to send privately, you can, you can do that as well. You can DM us as well. So, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes, we did. <laughs>